I believe that AI is going to cause massive labor shortages. I don't think we're going to have enough people to fill all the jobs that are going to be created. There's three things that are going to happen because of AI. The first is massive deflationary pressure. This cup of coffee is going to cost less. Your housing is going to cost less. Everything is going to cost less, which means people are going to need less money because you're going to have robots that are going to be farming the coffee more efficiently. You're going to have better supply chain management. And what that means is people will need to work less. And that's going to lead you to number two, which is people are going to opt out of the economy more. They're going to work fewer hours, they're going to work fewer days a week, and they're going to work fewer years. They're going to retire earlier because they're going to be able to support their lifestyle working less. And then number three is we're going to create new jobs and new industries that don't exist today. Think about 100 years ago. 98% of the workforce in the United States was in agriculture. 2% did other things. When we were able to reduce that to 2% of the population working in agriculture, we found things for those other 98% of the population to do. The jobs that are going to exist 100 years from now, we can't even contemplate. 100 years ago, the idea of a software developer made no sense. 100 years from now, it's going to make no sense, but in a different way because everyone's going to be vibe coding. And influencers, that wouldn't have made sense 100 years ago. But now, that's a real job. People make millions of dollars off of it. So number one, deflationary pressure. Number two, opting out of the workforce because of that deflationary pressure. And number three, jobs and companies that couldn't exist today that are going to exist and are going to need labor. We're not going to have enough people.